Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So this video is a makeup look. Crazy, I know. Um, but I'm finally getting around to doing how I do my eye makeup. This video is going to be all about my eyes. I just did a video, hopefully it's up a little bit before this, on my foundation and contour and all of the face base stuff. This is going to be how I achieved my eyeball look. Um, I go for more of like a grungy, bronze smoky eyeball on a daily basis and so this is kind of like my go-to everyday look if you guys have specific requests or anything questions or anything feel free to leave them down below I'm more than happy to um, answer questions and do specific requests so thank you guys so much for watching again please bear with me since these are my first makeup videos um, they're probably shit and I, I apologize for that but it's just kind of as good as it can get right now on my first video so um, let me know how what y'all think of it if you'd like me to kind of do these in the future um, and again if you would like to see how I got this bronze smoky grungy eyeball that I do on the norm please stay tuned and thank you so much for watching bye guys Hey guys, it's Caitlin again. I know I look a little bit strange and it's because I have my face makeup on and my eyebrows on, but nothing else. So I just filmed a video on how I got my face, like the base on, and I filmed it for you guys. So hopefully I don't look like too much of an idiot and I post that. Um, and I also figured I can do a little video on my eye look as well so that you have something kind of start to finish, something complete. I've had a lot of requests as to how I do my makeup, what I do for my makeup. So I figured let's do this for you. My last day of vacation, let's be a little productive, right? So I'm gonna go ahead today and use many of the colors from the Tartlet and Bloom palette by Tarte. It's a stunning palette, like you guys have no idea. Um, the colors, there's so many matte colors, there's shimmery shades, it's just beautiful. I use it over and over again almost every single day I use this palette and it's Gorge Balls. So I'm gonna go into this first uh, color here, Charmer. Can I do this backwards? Yeah, buddy. Um, and with a big fluffy brush. Now in my video for my face, I put a little bit of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on my eyes. So I'm not gonna prime because that's kind of done the job for me. If you were to prime, this is obviously the time that you're gonna do that. You're gonna prime before you put on any color. Once you've put that primer on, I take a lighter shade, something close to your skin tone with a big brush and I just really set everything on my lid. If I were to go in with my crease color or something right now without having this um, powder base down, then more likely than not, I would experience a ton of skippage on my eyelids and it just would not be it wouldn't be cute so I always 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 set my eyelid even under my eye so that I am kind of just preparing for the shadow to come so again use something close to your skin tone and get that on there so I'm gonna go ahead into this sweetheart color it's like a light orangish color and just a fluffy blending brush I don't really know where this came from but it's here, so we're gonna use it. Um, I'm gonna go into Sweetheart and I'm just gonna lay down my crease color. So I usually start with my crease um, and then blend it out and kind of work my way to the lid. I know for the lid, when I'm doing this kind of a look, I am i don't really care. Like I said, it's more of like a grungy, smoky look. So I don't really care if it gets on the lid, this blending crease color, because I'm gonna put down a liquid shadow anyways and then um, put something on top of that. So it will, it will be fine, we'll be fine. So I'm going to kind of sloppily blend this color, this Sweetheart orange color, onto my crease. And then I'm, I'm bringing it up fairly high. Um, I have hooded lids, so like if I'm not doing that, causing myself to have all these horrific forehead wrinkles, my eyes um, are pretty hooded. So it like you can't see a lot of my lid space. Um, so I end up bringing my crease color pretty high just so that you can see it peeking out of my hood. It's so gross. That sounds so gross, the more I'm thinking about it, like, oh, my hood. I'm also gonna bring this under the eye, same shadow brush. Like I said, this look isn't about precision. This isn't where I kind of take my time. It's like, get her, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Get her done. Obviously, I'm using like a big fluffy blending brush, so this isn't gonna be a very exact placement. It's gonna go ahead and just kind of blend it everywhere, really. And I'm okay with that, like I said. So I'm blending this, blending. I feel like you can never blend too much. Very light pressure on the fluffy blending brush. And there you go. Okay, so we have our crease color on. Let's scooch it a little bit. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take a, another fluffy brush and dip into Rebel here. This is an It Cosmetics blending brush. It's a little bit smaller, so it's not gonna necessarily blend it. I'm not looking to blend it as high as the other color. This is more gonna stay towards the crease, like in the crease. So I'm kind of just working lightest to darkest in the colors. Um, the darker the color, like the more precise I want it. So I'm gonna kind of go to smaller brushes as well. And I'm always, I like to have color under my eye and I like it pretty blended out and like smoky. So this is what I do. You Again, this is just my everyday. So it's not something y'all have to follow exactly. But I figured I'd share with you what I do. So here we go. I'm gonna take this blending brush again and just kind of blend out the edges of those two colors. I do do the windshield wiper motions and then I will do small circular motions. Uh, this is just because if you're just doing the windshield wiper motions, it can get a little skippy on the inner corner for me. So if I do it like this, it's gonna get every kind of inch of that skin. If you know what I'm saying. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I guess just use this 217. It's absolutely disgustingly dirty what can you do I'm gonna go into rebel again and leader and just kind of deepen out deepen up the outer portion of the under eye and the lid and just a little bit I like to have the crease and everything defined pretty well. So I kind of play with it as we go. Any fallout or anything, I just tend to do this. I think we're gonna go with a Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadow. These are sold at Walgreens. This is the color oh, Around Town Brown. And it has just this little doe foot applicator with the color on it, really beautiful. These last really well on my eyelid, so I'm just literally gonna paint this on. But these are like four or five dollars, and I really love them. They last, I don't have any issues creasing, it holds the color. So I'm just gonna paint this on like my mobile eyelid, is that what it's called? And then blend it with my finger, just kind of pat it in. I don't wanna take it up into the crease at all, I just want this on the lid itself. And just pat it out and I have to like I said I have put it eyes so if I were to like sit normally the all of that liquid until it dries would be transferred up to my lid or my crease area so I have to let it dry and put my head back while I do this okay. and do the same thing on this I'm just blending it out patting it in dry it up and then we'll layer on these you don't even really need to put another shadow on top of to be honest like they are a liquid eyeshadow um, so you could just leave it like that I am just extra and wasteful so I will probably top it with something a few somethings but like I said my look is normally like a brown smoky bronzy eye I'm just gonna kind of while that's drying Bring some more down here because I feel like it's a little lacking. And on the bottom of your eye, or of my eye, I like to keep the darker colors like more towards the lash line and then kind of blend it out into lighter colors, you know? And I don't mind mine going down super low. I actually really like that look. And again, makeup, you don't have rules. You don't have to listen to some one person in particular. You do what makes you happy. Motherfucking car alarm. Get 
your life together, sir. Stop setting that shit off. So, that's pretty dry. I'm gonna go ahead back into the Tartlet and Bloom palette and go with Firecracker, it's the bronze. Where is it? There you are. On another, um, just a, I, it's the same 217, it's filthy. And I'm just gonna pack this on top of that liquid eye on the lid itself. I don't really like to put uh, shimmery or glittery colors in the crease, so I kind of keep that to the lid. And with my hood, I mean it will transfer up, but I don't intentionally put glittery or shimmery colors in my crease. So yeah, let's blend this bit out a little bit. I'm gonna take a MAC 224 and just blend the edges. Make sure that you don't have any like really harsh lines. That is super important in my opinion. In my opinion. I'm gonna take a ColourPop, yes, uh, color in Millionaire. It's filthy on the back, do not judge. It's beautiful. Oh, is this the broken one? Oh, this, this, I have bought, I've purchased like three of these specific colors. I have a ton of ColourPop, but this color in particular is just stunning. It's a bronze, sparkly, glittery, gold, uh, gorgeous color. But all of them have broken. Like they're, I mean, to be fair, this one is at pan. Look how, fuck. Look how beautiful that is. But, fuck, I just spilled it everywhere. But only this shade has have I ever had an issue with. None of the other ones. So I'm gonna take some MAC Fix Plus on the back of my hand, wet my finger, because these are really best put on. The color is really best put on there with your finger. So I wet it. This is gonna be Fallout City because it's all crumbly. And by wetting my finger, it's really enhancing the metallic pigment in there. You probably can't even see a difference, but I can. This is like, I love this color. I absolutely love this color. I feel like it is the perfect you can't really see oh my gosh it's all over the place though it's like the perfect summery bronze color it is absolutely stunning but again it's a hot mess so i'm like barely gonna touch it with this brush so it doesn't like smudge the color everywhere it just brushes it off You feel? You feel me? Can you see the color, like the sparkliness? I don't know if you can. But it's gorge. It's gorge. I have like shimmer in my hair. I'm not very neat when I come to doing my makeup, you guys, so. There's that. Now you know. Now you fucking know. I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna put on some liner. I'm gonna use the NYX um, Matte Liquid Liner. And it's a liquid liner, obviously, but it has a brush tip applicator. Let's see if I can even do this on camera. I'm not gonna wing it out or anything. I'm just gonna put it on there for some definition at the lash line. And I literally just like lay it on its side and pull it through. It's like gorgeous. So like I said, just a little bit of definition Ooh. on the lash line, nothing crazy, not a like thick line or anything. And this is literally like the easiest liner to work with. I don't know what it is about it, but like the applicator, the formula, it's just amazing and I love it. And though those lash lines are defined. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do now is off camera, I'm gonna put on my my liquid lashes. I'm gonna put on my false lashes. I have a video on how to do that, so if I remember, I will try and link that for you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and off camera put my lashes on and then come back and see what we need to do to finish it up. Because once you have your lashes on, then you really see 
what needs to be intensified, what needs to be darkened, what needs to be, you know, added or whatever. So um, let me do that and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so my lashes are on now. I'm gonna put on some mascara and kind of just assess the situation and see if we need anything additional. Um, mascara, I am not super picky on because I have false lashes on. So I'm just using this sample of Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. It is, I like the Better Than Sex Mascara. It is good. This one's waterproof. It's very difficult to get off, but I guess that's good in the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the eye, um, the eye, the mascara on the lower portion of my lashes so it covers my actual lashes. My lashes are very blonde, so I do need to put this on, um, but when I put mascara on before my lashes, for some reason it just is more difficult to put my lashes on. So I'm trying not to get a ton on the actual lash itself, that way I can kind of re keep reusing them. The more mascara you kind of pile onto a false lash, you're limiting the amount of times that you can reuse it. So I try and just get a minimal amount on the lashes themselves and just cover up my actual lashes. So there's that, and then I also always, always, always wear mascara on my lower lash line. Just feel unbalanced if I don't have it on there, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? So now I'm just gonna take a look. As soon as I put my lashes on, I can kind of see that um, I do want it a little bit deeper in the crease. So I'm taking a smaller brush, this is a pointed crease br brush by Makeup Geek, and the smaller brush obviously is going to give you more precision and so we're going to use this right now and just really define that crease a little bit more is that is really it you guys um oh no it's not are you kidding me <sighs> blasphemous i forgot my inner corner highlight i'm like why do i look so basic and dull okay so i'm using for my inner corner highlight i am using another color pop this is glitterati um i like my inner corners to shine to the high heavens just like the rest of my face but look at this color you guys like okay and then I'm using a Sigma E46. It's like a little baby pointed inner corner highlight brush. So I literally just pack some of that on the brush. And glow away. It's like blinding. Again, not for the faint of heart. Again, my heart is not faint. I could literally just sit here packing this on all day long, I feel like. And like, it's really bright, but I still even like wear this to work, the inner corner, like, I don't know, I feel like it looks totally natural on me. <laughs> like I was born with this, this inner corner, what the fuck are you talking about? There you are. My inner corner highlight. We are complete. Are we complete? I think so. All right, so my inner corner highlights are on. We are good. That is literally it for this look. Um, I don't usually do lips because I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I don't feel like I look good in lipstick. Yeah. So if anything, I have on like Vaseline. So, Excuse me, that is it you guys. That is my eye look complete. Like I said, um, I have the foundation video. Um, hopefully that has gone up a little bit before this. Um, and I hope that you guys found some of it helpful, interesting, um, and not just like ridiculous. I mean, it may just be ridiculous. If you think it's a piece of shit, let me know. And, uh, and I won't make these anymore. But I hope that that was helpful. Like I said, I've had a lot of people just asking about my particular face and routine and how I put my makeup on and what products I use and things like that. So I figured that's what I would share with you guys. 
Again, any questions or requests or anything like that, feel free to leave them down below. Get in touch with me um, and yeah, I'm more than happy to oblige. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I hope that you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.